Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern. But why do I have the World of Game Design logo up? Well, if you've been editing or feeds that I have been part of, uh, you've been reading a lot about World of Game Design and Jared, Jared Nielsen. So, uh, I have a history with Jared that goes back to 2017. So I am going to cover the article in question, but not not with this episode. That'll probably be tomorrow, possibly Thursday, because that's a story that somebody else, a lot of people are telling, and I want to collate everything because some of these stories are very disturbing as to how people were treated. I'm gonna talk about my story. And my story is about Jared when he was running uh, let's see, when he was running the, the the Illusionist Network, he had an evangelist uh welcome kit and this whole program was and i will bring it up now technical difficulties was about basically building off of MythHorde. i don't know if you all remember myth horde but myth horde was a service where you got a box in the mail or a package in the mail and it had random or cure, I should say curated RPG products in it. Mythward skewed old school. Well, Jared and his illusionist network bought out Mythward and decided that they wanted to do a themed equivalents. Made sense. So in early 2017, I believe it was April, Jared reached out to me about curating a 10 cars tavern box. And I was newly retired. I was retired for a year. Um, In the NYPD, uh, your first couple of years pension is actually reduced by 10% until your numbers are finalized. And finalization can't start until your current contract for your union is up and mine wasn't up. So I was having a significant portion of my pension withheld. Got it later. So you have to budget accordingly. And this hit me at the right time. I was just about a year retired and trying to fill my my days with something productive. And I thought this was going to be productive. And it was a decent pitch. And Evangelist Welcome Kit, become your own channel in the Illusionist Network. Cautiously building a network of prime visionaries. By the way, these are all marketing terms. And I didn't necessarily see that at the time because I was too personally involved. But these are all the terms that they use with multi-level marketing, other shit like that. Within the entertainment industry, not even the gaming industry, the entertainment industry, we feel you might welcome the opportunity to share your brand with our fulfillment group. So, of course, this is what later on became World of Game Design and his whole fulfillment aspect. And I'm going to just say be wary of anyone who offers to fulfill your projects or ship your shit for you unless you truly know them. We will earn your trust by protecting your brand through excellent customer service, on-time delivery, and high-value monthly subscription boxes. I was told that the boxes that people are receiving were not high-value. Now, value is a matter of opinion to some extent, but I was told early on that people did not... Unlike the early... uh, Again, I believe it was called Myth Horde... um, those boxes had a lot of Judges Guild stuff. There. I, I know Bad Mike supplied it, but he had bought it in bulk and he was selling it off. But their 
in lies the crux of the issue. These things had print on demand. Print on demand has a minimal cost. All right, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's the there's the lowest you can go, and um, even those that are putting stuff in, they want to make everybody wants to get a little something something. It is quite an exciting time as we invite you to join a company that is formed like the Knights of the Round Table. What a puke, I hear that. Each evangelist joins the group equal to the other evangelists. I never knew of anyone else in the group who command the loyalty of customers within a certain niche in the entertainment industry. Where you invest may lie in old school role playing. Well, that was aimed at me. Another may lie in far future sci fi. Oh, there, Tom, he missed you. While another may focus on delivering Kickstarters, another may prefer Legos. You get to decide the product mix, and you get to be the visionary shopper for your subscribed customers. How would you include? Legos and this stuff. I don't even know if that could, there's any profit margin in that. But the Illusionist Investment Group has analyzed the industry. industry box services. They analyzed it because they purchased a monthly box service. And we have found that many monthly subscription services lack scale. Well, I know, I know the tavern box lacks scale because it. I don't think we had any more than maybe 20 boxes a month at one point going out. And here's the thing. I look back, I had much communication with Jared initially. I was reaching out to a number of the people, friends, publishers that I know, and I was getting handshake deals done. Right? I'm getting handshake deals done for people to add to this at damn near cost. But that wasn't going to make the profits. Jared wanted more than many of these publishers were willing to give. You can't get blood from a stone, and you can certainly only... I wasn't going to push my friends, my colleagues, to give to something. That's really what I had to come down to, give. Hey, you can add to this box, make no money off it, not lose any money, but make you'll get public publicity that doesn't count for so much. So in the end, what Jared wound up doing is producing a lot of the stuff by himself. Okay. Uh not necessarily a great thing, but it is a thing. Um this means that you, the evangelist, you have no burden of operations. You recommend monthly products and you get money. Well, I recommended products. We couldn't get the deals done because, again, he was looking, in my opinion, to get stock at less than initial cost. In other words, you have leftovers. He wanted your leftovers. He didn't want, I was getting people who would have uh, added product for a dollar over the POD cost, but he didn't, here's the thing too, from what I recall, he didn't want to use a POD service. He wanted to print this stuff himself, get the file, get permission, and there was no indication of the limit of how much he could produce. And I don't remember what the deal was between him and those that were giving product to the uh, to the cause, but something tells me they weren't getting paid per item. They were getting a flat rate. So there, there were some issues. In retrospect, I should have seen more, but like many, you see the you see the pitch, and although there's that warning in the back of your ear. And I had that in my head that, you know what, I feel like I'm dealing with a used car salesman. No one sold to used car salesman. I'm sure there are some honest ones. I've met some honest lawyers. Um, thank God. But this whole thing is, was, 
Jeez. We analyze the, mar the, the margin requirements and assign a target cost of goods sold, and then we handle all the fulfillment to deliver monthly product mixes that hit those targets. Well, that's awesome and great. But I wasn't able to pitch anything and say, hey, folks, I curated this. I had not going to be in anything. I was as surprised as any of the subscribers were. How do you make money? Direct revenue share from your channel, indirect revenue from the central success sharing fund and affiliate commissions when you refer customers. This was all sold as an opportunity to make a noticeable amount of additional income, which at the time I was like, well, I could use and I had the time, right? I can I can make these phone calls, I can make these emails, I can make these PMs, I can make this work. Um, it's hard to make it work when the communication wasn't there. Because it was quickly seen, in my opinion, that my community was already probably subscribed to MythHoard. They weren't looking, some people did, but most people already were part of a subscription service. And by the way, uh, these subscription services, they come and go. I was one for, in one for uh, RPG magazines, like out of print ones. I don't think I've gotten one uh, since early summer. So I, I, I think that there is a business in this for sure, but I guess the Illusionist Group is probably one of those uh, companies that Jared formed that he then uh, unformed. Uh, I don't. Even, I don't think it's still. I, I don't think it's still in existence. Uh, let me. Let me. Uh, you know. Let's do something live here because this is the whole pitch you're seeing on the screen. Okay. Um, and again, again, the emails going back between Jared and I are, are numerous, a couple of dozen, but literally nothing much happened with it. But there is a, oh yeah, here we go. Who to contact? Illusion, illusion, illusion. I dot S T. It would help if I spelled it right. I L L U S I L N I dot S T. This I can't be read. So I guess this is something that Jared was experimenting with and my understanding is when he got the, when he bought his first fulfillment uh system that he was probably uh getting it on its down low and was trying to find ways to make it work and i believe that he had much of the stuff in the various boxes he was sending, you know, sending out if it was sent out in a certain month the boxes had a lot of overlap or, or complete overlap I mean, permissions. In order for us to sell your channel more effectively, we need your written permission to use your likeness for our own promotional and marketing purposes, which is how we got the 10 Cards Tavern crate. Uh, you know, listen, we all make mistakes. And this was a mistake that I made. Now, thankfully, it didn't require me to give up any of my IP didn't require me to give up any of my work. Others, that's what he was shaking people down for. With the promises of a job, like I said, I'm going to comb through YouTube and I am going, the original article, by the way, uh, will cost you a buck to read it. I will link to it. I paid for it myself. It is sadly worth the read. If nothing else, if only for uh, a warning to others 
that people like this exist. Um, they generally, people like Jared, and I'm going to make a generalization, see themselves as the victim. Okay? They are the victim, whether it's a victim of media coverage, whether it's a victim of circumstance, whether it's a victim of timing, whether they're the victim of bad partners, whether they but they're always the victim. They're never the perp. Uh, and anything bad never happened with intent. And I don't know if there was intent. I believe the intent was to make a maximum profit for Jared and anything else was secondary, but that's just my thing. But uh, expect me to do more coverage on this in the upcoming days. Uh, I think it's a story that needs to be told. And if you're on Facebook, a number of my friends have been telling their stories. I'm going to reach out to them and with their permission, share their stories here on the channel because I, I think it's important. So, folks, on that note, if you want to help this channel, 10 cards there's tavern.game slash humble will take you to humble bundle. There is a Mutants and Masterminds bundle up there. There is uh, a Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay bundle. There's some other bundles, but those are the two that I think are the real highlights. 10cars-tavern.game slash DTRPG will take you to drive through There's actually a Halloween sale or a spooky October sale going on to the end of the month, so you can get some good deals on that. And if you want to leave a voicemail, speakpipe.com slash tavern chat. For those that were saying that they couldn't use the phone number to call into the show, you can leave a, vo you can leave a voicemail. So folks, on that note, like, subscribe, you know the thing. Be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. I'll be back tomorrow with a live stream. I wonder if that's going to be part of the topic. I don't know. I'll catch you all later. Be good.